Hi everyone, I'm Chanel Rosenbaum, an immigration lawyer with Healthy Immigration Law, and today I'm here to talk to you about getting your application right, making sure you submit the right forms. So this is something which can actually be quite difficult to navigate. When you're submitting an immigration application, uh, there's tons of different forms and documents that IRCC requests you to submit and fill out. And the instructions given by IRCC are not always clear. Um, so from time to time, we also identify inconsistencies among the items being requested by IRCC. So one recent example of this that I have identified is with regards to family information form being requested as part of study permit applications. In this case, the document checklist for a study permit states that the family information form you need to include is the IMM 5707 form. Um, this version is relevant to certain applicants, but this does not actually apply to everyone. So in actual fact, only applicants of certain countries are required to provide the 5707 form. Depending on where you're from, you may not need to submit a family information form at all, or you might instead be required to submit the version IMM 5645, which is a different form and includes the additional requirement to provide information on your siblings. So on the contrary to the document checklist for study permits, the instruction guide, which is the IMM 5269 for study permit applications, does correctly identify that there are two different versions of the family information form to be used depending on the country you're applying from. The instructions in the guide provide that you need to use the family information form that is listed in the application package for your country or territory. However, the confusion continues once you open the country-specific application package as the IMM 5707 consistently appears to be the required family information form regardless of the country. So at this point, you're probably just really confused. What do I do? How do I find the correct information? All the instructions provided to me by IRCC are inconsistent. Um, the different documents I've read provide different information. So the answer to this question is actually very simple. The best way to find out which form in particular is required in your specific circumstance is to log into your IRCC secure account and start your application. By starting your application, you'll have to fill out um, certain information, answer certain questions, and this in turn will generate a personalized document checklist, which should indicate exactly which forms IRCC need you to upload. So this will generate a number of different upload links, and you can hover on the little question mark next to each upload link for more information to read specifically which form or the details of the document that they're requiring you to provide. If in doubt, we would always recommend you rely on what is specified for each upload link in the personalized document checklist rather than relying on the application guide or the generic document checklist you've probably reviewed ahead of starting your application. Further, if you don't completely trust the information that is being provided in your personalized document checklist, and you have some doubts that another form might be required in addition, even though IRCC are not specifically requesting it, if in doubt, you can submit additional documents. The way to do this is to create one large PDF document uh, with everything else that you need to submit and any letters of explanation you have and upload that document under the client information upload link. That is the one extra upload link provided to you in your personalized document checklist where ISCC enables you to upload additional information. Um, so anything you need to clarify, clarify it under that link. For a lot of you, it might feel like a lot of pressure to have to start your application before you finish gathering all the right documents and filling out the forms. But once you start your application, you actually get 60 days to submit it to IRCC. However, if you're not ready to submit it at the end of those 60 days, you can actually just delete that application from your account and start a new application from scratch. So there's no commitment in starting an application. Um, you can start it early on just to see exactly what documents are going to be asked of you. Um, and when you're ready to submit it, you can submit it or delete it and create a new application. 
We wrote a blog post on this topic recently, so I would encourage you to check it out on our website. Um, But if you still have any doubts about your forms or documents or any other part of your application, I would highly recommend that you book a consultation with one of our lawyers and we will be happy to help. Thanks everyone.